Alright guys, so we did our project over arthritis. Uh, what is arthritis? A painful inflammation and stiffness of the joints. Arthritis is very common, but it's not well understood. Actually, arthritis is not a single disease. It is an informal way of referring to joint pain or joint disease. There are more than 100 different types of arthritis and related conditions. People of all ages, sexes, and races can and do have arthritis, and it is the leading cause of disability in America. More than 50 million adults and 300,000 children have some type of arthritis. It is most common among women and occurs more frequently as people get older. The total amount of foul waste for people with arthritis is 1,200 a week and 400 calories per meal. The X variable for our equation is fish and the Y is fruit. Um, for our meal plan, for a day for breakfast, we just had oatmeal with fruit and for lunch we had smoked salmon with smoked sal a smoked salmon potato tar tartini and for dinner we had a kale Caesar salad with a grilled salmon trap. Meal prices daily. The added prices from all of our meal plans was $19.73 at the average a day, and X is the number of days, and Y is the total cost. And the graph shows Um, uh, our total, we didn't, we did our average, like our price for the meal, we did an average because, um, we lost the singular thing, but, yeah, this is the average per meal, we added it up, and yeah. Okay, so, um, uh, I really appreciate all this information is great, I'm just wondering, if I'm not familiar with um, how to read the graph. If I were um, asking you, you have an equation so that at any given time I can find out how much fish and how much fruit that I'm able to, how is that counted? Is it by a cupful, spoonful? Um, what is that um, measurement with the X's and the Y's on this particular graph? Like how am I knowing what to give my patients? Am I giving it by calorie count? Am I giving it by cups? Servings. What am um, I doing in this one? This graph is actually doing it by calories, as you can see. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, uh, it's supposed to say, you know, 1,200 on both of them. But uh, you know it's safe whenever, you know, it's in the shaded area. Anything, you know, not, you know, in this thing is obviously not good. It has to be in the shaded part. That's, you know, what's recommended and good for you. Okay, so at any given time, if I know that I'm giving this much fish, then I can follow up and find out how much um, that I'm needing in fruit. If I'm in the shaded region, then I'm fine and my patients are well cared for? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then for my price per day, I saw that you had your total was 1973 So if I want to find out on day five, like the patient stayed five days, am I using the equation or the graph or both? What um, would I do? Um, well, the equation, you plug in the number of days of X, and that will give you your cost, but the graph just shows you a representation of the different prices of days. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I truly appreciate this help, and we will be able to help our patients with their nutritional needs.